In this video, we're going to take a look at assistments through the eyes of a student on the left and a teacher on the right. Now, in the last video, I showed you how, as a teacher, I can post work to my Google Classroom through the assistments website. Remember, I did not create this assignment in Google Classroom. Assistments made the assignment and dropped it in there for me. So now I'm going to have you look over on the left side. This is a demo student account. When that student goes into classwork, they're going to see that problem set appear. They're going to click on the assignment. It's always good to know what the student sees at home. And here is the assignment. So there are blank flowers in each group. Next problem. They are blank in each group, two, four, six, seven. Sorry about this. I wanna show you to the end. 30 apples divided into three, go me. Next problem. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Woohoo! Now, I'm gonna get the next one wrong on purpose. Up, oh, sorry. Try again. Let's see. I'm gonna get it wrong again on purpose. Nope. Show answer. I needed help with that one. I really didn't understand it. So now I'm gonna type in 12 and hit submit. So that showed you what happens when a student struggles with one. But at the end of the student's work, they're going to need to click finish assignment. And then they get a congratulatory box that they can exit out of. The student gets immediate feedback in a report. Not only do they get their answers, but they also see their classmates average, which unfortunately there's only one student in this example class, okay? So, and they can even look back at the problems. Now let's check out what the teacher now sees. So now when the teacher goes into classwork, again, this is the teacher, the teacher is gonna go back to that and they're gonna click on the assistments link. And this is gonna take them to their teacher account. Look at that. It graded everything for me. Go assistments. I see the average score. I see all of this student's work for each one. So here's the class average, but down here, here is the one student that I have in that class, and there's that one that they had wrong. So the great news is that you can gain your grades right from here. It's even gonna tell you how much time the students spent on it. 